Now let's try creating a Google presentation. I am logged into Jeffco Google Apps and I'm at my drive landing page. And again, I'm looking for the red create button. Instead of choosing document, this time I'm going to select presentation. The first thing I'm prompted to do is to select a theme. And because I tend to use a lot of images and they have white backgrounds, I'm going to just go ahead and go with simple light and maybe adjust the background or theme later. For those of you that use PowerPoint, you'll see the layout is somewhat similar. Over on the left, we have our outline view. And right now, I only have one slide in my presentation. If I want to add more slides, I just use this red plus button, and I can quickly add more slides. Across the top, we have our file menus. And the first thing I'm going to do is adjust this first slide. Now, right now, this is the sample layout. It's given me the layout for a sample title slide. If I right click on this first slide, I am given the option to change the layout. So if I want just a really blank slide to start with, I will just choose blank and it clears all of the things it's added for me automatically, which is how I want to start. So the first thing I'm going to do is to insert an image. And there are several ways to do this. I'm going to go to the insert menu to show you the first way and select image. If I didn't want to go to the insert menu, you can see there's a shortcut right here. And I'm going to choose an image from my computer to upload. I will navigate to where that file is on my computer and just click open. Google will upload my file and insert it on my slide. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down just by grabbing the corner of the image and I can drag and drop this anywhere I would like to on my slide. So for this presentation, let's say I'm working on a project about college education and the cost of college education and how sometimes the cost can be an obstacle to those who would like to get a college education. So I really need a graphic that symbolizes that, and I'm going to go with a wall. Here's the second way. This is my preferred way to put images into my presentation if they're already on the web. So I've done a clip art search for walls. This one says it's royalty free. I'm going to go ahead and use this one in my presentation. What you want to do is left click with this image and do not release the left click. So I'm just left clicking and holding it down and you can see that this image is now moving with my mouse. So I'm kind of moving this around. This is a feature that's only going to work in Google Chrome or Firefox and I'm just not going to let go of the mouse until I drag it into my presentation. And to do that, I'm going to hover over the tab in my Google Chrome where my presentation is. I still have not let go of the left mouse button and I'm just going to move it over into my presentation where I want it and then finally I'm going to release my mouse. You can see I've basically been able to just drag and drop this image right into my presentation and now I can resize it. Let me show that one more time. So now I want to use a picture of money to symbolize that the wall is the obstacle. So here's one that I like. I'm going to click on this image. You can see it starts to move with me. I'm going to take it over to my presentation tab. I'm going to take it over here and I'm going to drop it right there. Resize it and put it over here. So right now I kind of have a little visual image of money being an obstacle to some people's desire to get a college education. Let's go ahead and add some text to this presentation. So I'm going to insert a text box. I'm just going to draw one out. And this will turn into my solution for this obstacle. So in my presentation, I'm going to be talking about financial aid options. So I'm going to type in financial aid. I need to make that much bigger so that my audience can see that. So I'm going to use the font drop down menu to make that bigger. And over here, I'm going to use the alignment button to make it centered. And I think that I also want to fill this text box. So across the top, I can change the fill color of the box. We'll go with something yellow to make it really stand out. So many of these tools across this toolbar are very similar to those that you explored in Google Docs. Now let's talk just a little bit about background. Again, I didn't select a background when I first started, but I can always add one later. Sometimes I'll just add in a few bars at the top or the bottom. But if you want to go ahead and use an image for a background, I'll show you the third way you can insert images. So I've done a PowerPoint background search on Google Images here, and I'm just looking for something that is primarily white. I'm going to use this one as an example. I don't think the resolution is going to be great for this, but for this example, we'll just go ahead and use it. And I've right clicked on the image. And what I'm fishing for here is the image's address or its URL. So I'm going to copy its URL. I'm going to go back to my presentation. And I'm going to go into the slide background. So to change the background, you just go to the slide menu, go to background. And just like with other images, it's going to let you upload an image when I click choose. It'll let me upload an image, or another option is to just connect it by its address on the web. And that's the choice I'm going to use for this one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste in that address that I copied. 
and I'm going to click select. And you can see that my background and the preview behind it has changed and I can just be done or I can apply this to all of my slides. And now I'll click done and you can see I have a background on all of my slides. Probably will need to rearrange these a little bit. Now when I add a new slide, I'm using the plus button over here again, that new background was not applied to it. So a quick fix for that is to go up to in one of the slides that does have your background, go to your slide background, and again, all you need to do is click Apply to All, and your new slide that didn't have that background will suddenly have that background. And maybe the next thing I want to do is share this presentation. Perhaps I'm working with a partner, and my task is to cover the financial aid part of this assignment, but my partner is going to look at scholarships, and we want to work together on the same presentation. So again, that blue share button that was with us in Docs is here in presentation. It brings up the identical sharing window, and I can simply type in my partner's name and I can share this project with that person. So now when that person logs into their Google Docs, they'll see the same presentation. I definitely probably want to give it a name, so let me change that. That person will now see college funding presentation in their Google Drive and my partner will be able to open it and edit it even if I am editing at the same time and we can be working on different slides within this presentation. So take some time and create a new presentation. You can explore a lot of the tools across the toolbar. You can draw lines and shapes, add text boxes. These buttons are wonderful, your undo and redo buttons. And simply set up your first basic presentation. In our next task, we'll talk about how we can animate some of the features on these slides.